Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Talma and I'm going to show you guys how to master blend mode. Let's get started. So before we get started, I want to explain to you guys how blend mode works. So blend mode changes how stacked layers blend with each other. You can change the blend mode of your selected box and alter how it blends with the parent box or the background of the selected box. So I'm going to show you now. I have opened up a page on Studio Design and let's start off by adding a box and we're going to make it bigger. There we go. And in the top left corner, you see that there is a, uh, a little arrow. Click that. And here you see our three new effects. One of them being blend mode. We have 16 different blend modes. And I'm going to explain how they work while I show you what to do. So I've added my box and I want to add a picture. I'm going to make my picture just a bit bigger and double click go to the library and I want to pick something summery so let's write summer uh, a good beachy picture let's see let's just use this one there we go and now I'm going to add another box on top of my picture and cover the whole picture I'm going to change the fill to this bright pink because why not and now I'm going to change the blend mode of this box to interact with the picture that's below it so let's check out what these blend modes do over here we have overlay and overlay keeps the light or makes the bright areas look brighter and the dark areas look darker darken is a blend mode that makes the dark areas look darker. Lighten makes the light areas look lighter. And here we have difference, which is like the completely opposite of what the regular colors are. So it's like on the other side of the spectrum. So you can play around with these and see what you come up with. Oh, I like this one, this one's nice. But I'm going to pick lighten for now. And you can also change the opacity, just like this. But before we do that, I want to add some text. So let's drag the text box to the middle, press enter, and let's write summer. There we go. And we're going to make that a bit bigger. And we're going to change the color to white so that you can see it. Maybe even let's do this font. There you go. And you can also use blend mode on the text box. So let's see what happens when I do that. Oh, oh you see how it changes? Oh, this one's nice. You can barely see it though. I think maybe let's stick to, let's try overlay. And we can also play around with the uh, box underneath and change the colors to see what we like oh you see how the layers are interacting right now isn't that cool i kind of like this one this one is quite summery isn't it maybe let's change the opacity of it wow oh look how cool that is <laughs> that's amazing but I want to show you guys an even cooler effect. So I'm going to show you a website that used uh, blend mode on its header. So here we have this website. If you pay attention to the header at the top while I scroll down, you'll see what happens. So let's see. What? Look at that. You can also see how these colors are interacting and it makes the it gives it like a special effect to the whole website and makes it so cool. So now I'm going to show you guys how you can do this. 
Let's go back to the picture I made before and let's add a header at the top. I'm going to add a header at the top and make it bigger like this. Let's add some text. We can write, I love summer. We got the R at the end. There we go. And make the size a bit bigger. I'm also going to change the weight to 900. Change the, uh, the color to white. And the box behind it, change it to transparent and fixed, like that. And now I'm just going to add, and now I'm just going to add another image underneath. Let's just do this one. And let's just copy it and paste that. So we can scroll down. Okay, so now we have done that. Oh, I almost forgot. We need to change the blend mode of the box from normal to difference, like this. And that's the trick. So now let's go to live preview and see what happens. Okay, are you guys ready? Ooh, look at that! Look how the text interacts with the pictures. Isn't that so cool? Well, there you have it guys. That is how you master blend mode and I cannot wait to see what you guys create. Comment down below about what you think about this new feature. See you next time. Goodbye.